This is Twit. This is uh, the future. Modern. Intel has some new mobile yeah. chipsets. So remember when the Surface Laptop 5 specs leaked a few years ago, we were like, what? Are these Intel model numbers look really weird. What is this? You know? And Intel had an, Intel usually announces uh, new generation desktop chips in the latter half of the year, and then CES comes around and they announce like the U series mobile chips, you know, for laptops and so forth. So they did do that, but they didn't really provide any details about what these what they were. You know, they kind of this is a 12th gen U series, whatever. A bunch of laptops were announced. No one no one said anything about the processors, just that they were 12th gen. Uh, HP sent me uh, a laptop just to kind of check out the design. Of course, I tried to figure out what the processor was. And then they were like, okay, you can send it back now. Uh, you're getting a little too close to this. <laughs> and um, Did they actually know that you had been looking? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, because I wrote about it. Oh, okay. So now we kind of know what they're doing. And it's actually really interesting. So Intel had in the past experimented with what I'm going to call like a hybrid core architecture uh, for their core, you know, capital C core chipsets. Uh, but they were for kind of um, uh, niche uh, chipsets. They weren't for the mainstream chips. So now they're doing this ARM-style hybrid core architecture on their mainstream chips. And the way they're breaking it down is a little different than in the past. Um, they're going to do, uh, if, what do you call it, performance cores and uh, efficiency cores, multiple efficiency cores uh, on even the lower-end products. U-series is going to be, is it 9 or 7? Let me just look at my notes. Uh, do, 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 sorry, <laughs> I think I would memorize this small detail. Yeah, 9 and 15 watt designs. There's a new P series that's going to sit between U and H that will be 28 watts. And then H uh, series processors will be 56 watts. These things are uh, called out in their, their model numbers. So like the 1280P is a P series with a 28 watt architecture. Um, the P series chips will have a, a total of 14 cores, up to 14 cores, I should say. The U series chips will have two performance cores, and then depending on the model, six to 10 efficiency cores. Uh, these things are up to 70% better performance than last year's highest end chips from AMD or uh, Intel, and they consume half the energy. Uh, the other thing is, there. this is kind of an interesting claim, uh, Intel is saying that they're going to beat the M1 and the M1 Pro, but not the M1 Max, interestingly, <laughs> uh, in some benchmarks. Benchmarks are obviously kind of arbitrary, but what, this is clearly what they're shooting for. Uh, it's going to support all the Iris XE graphics, you know, Wi-Fi 6E, Thunderbolt 4, PCIe 4, et cetera, et cetera, as you would expect. But, you know, the big news here is they're they're doing this thing we always kind of said they would do, which is Intel has seen the threat from ARM. They've done the engineering work to modify their mainstream processors. And this year, for the first time, that type of processor is coming to PCs, mainstream PCs, I should say. So did, what did the HP have that you were looking at? It uh, That's a good question, actually, I <laughs> now that I know. I'm just curious it, if it, you could notice yeah. the difference in performance. Oh, I, what I noticed was the performance was terrible, but oh. uh, that was that was the, <laughs> oh. no, that was the point because no, like I got it right before I went to Mexico, and I was really oh, happy okay. because it was like a three by two display. Um, I was like, oh, this is perfect, and then I was like using it. I'm like, this thing doesn't work very well. So I started to figure out what was going on, and they were obfuscating what the processor was. Mm. So there was some information about it I could figure out, and some I couldn't. And I wrote about that, and they were like, okay, that's enough of that. Um, just wanted <laughs> you to look at the design. Uh, we'll come back in March or whenever these things are coming out. Um, so it was almost certainly a P series chipset, I would imagine, just mm -hmm. based on I think the 28 watt thing. So. Hmm. But yeah, this is uh, this is actually really exciting. I mean, and I, you know, I think we I think we must have talked about Intel last week, right? How people, some people in the tech industry, those who know, maybe know a little bit too much, are like, oh, they're dead. They're you know, they screwed up. They mismanagement, blah blah blah. And it's like I, I don't know. I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna get this one right. So this is the first uh, major step in that interesting. direction. Anyway. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Just announced today. Hmm. Uh, good. Actually, I'm glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. Yes, me too. Yeah, me too. Um, are those processors out now? I mean, those laptops. Should I start looking? No, at so they're going to be coming now. They'll be coming out anytime. Okay. So February, okay. March is the launch time okay. frame. So that's and that how will they be designated? Will it be twelfth generation or? 
Yeah, the twelfth gen. Uh, they're still using the U series, config, you know, naming, branding, or whatever on like ultra portable, so ultra books and like really thin light machines. Mm -hmm. But now that like the P series, which is for performance, and then H series, which is for high performance, and the wattage goes up, you know, as you go up between those. Nice. Yeah. Cool.